Hi everyone, in this video I'll try to make first field trip on buggy. But first we need to make a clutch pedal, to check everything up and to tighten all nuts hard in order not to get that problem with drives like in the 8th part. Between times I sheathed the framework of the trailer on which I'd carry the buggy outside. In the previous part 1 installed the 5 speed transmission and made a gear shift mechanism for it together with the coulisse. After the check it appeared to me that the clutch turned out to be rigid as it was difficult to press it through the lever. Hope it wouldn't be difficult to disengage the clutch with a leg while driving the buggy. The rigidity of the clutch pedal directly depends on rigidity of a clutch assembly and on the pedal lever length which presses it. Before starting the pedal production, I double check the clutch work with a started engine. Due to the rigidity and remoteness of the gearbox from the pedal I rejected a clutch cable and decided make a hydraulic connection using two cylinders and a brake tube. First thing I've made was welding of the platform for a pedal from two angles. Then I welded the pedal upon them which was made according to the same scheme as a throttle pedal and a brake. The main clutch cylinder would be set on the platform which I cut out from a thick slab. I drilled the holes with a crown for metal for it. I marked the places of fastening in order the exits from the cylinder looked upward to be able to remove possible air traps from the braking liquid. I welded the platform with the cylinder fixed strictly opposite to the pedal on it. I fastened a clamp with a rod to the pedal. Only after an adjustment I welded it to the clamp. Then I moved to the fastening of the second cylinder which was set near the gearbox. But before it I'd change a lever form of the clutch fork under the working cylinder. I'd remove a bend and extend it for a couple of centimeters. The platform for the cylinder I'd make from the same 5mm slab. I welded it to the adapter plate so it'd possible to regulate the clutch by the rod of the working cylinder. Now we need to link two cylinders with a tube. I didn't find the adapter from a thread M10 in sale which was located on unions of a brake tube on a thread M12 which was cut in the clutch cylinders. That's why I'll make the tube by myself, I'll just change the unions on the tube from M10 to M12. I cut off the flaring from the tube and removed the union, I need just a ring from it. I took the union which fitted the thread of the clutch cylinders. Thus how this scheme will work. For the tube flaring we need a mandrel. I made it from two metal bars, linked them together, and drilled a hole for the tube. I clamped a tube between them and expanded its end with a cone. Before it I put the new unions on it. I fastened one modified union to a hose and fastened it in its turn to the working cylinder. The other union was fastened to the main cylinder near the pedal. The liquid would be in a small tank which I placed near a brake tank. I connected the cylinder with the tank, a hose and filled in the braking fluid. I placed the tube near a brake tube. At first impression buggy turned out to be very quick. Now we can go for a first field trip. I drove the trailer into the workshop. For now I'm afraid to drive in the trailer under my own power, as I didn't get used enough to a clutch pedal. Buggy will be submerged into the trailer by means of the manual hoist. If during the test something will occur to it, we can always drag it on the trailer with a hoist. 
I got the trailer with a little improper size as after the sheathing wheels touched the boards and buggy couldn't get into the trailer. After some thinking I just changed one wheel for usual one and buggy easily got into the trailer. I fixed buggy belts and drove buggy outside. I unloaded buggy from the trailer, changed the wheel and tried to drive first 100 meters. I put on back protection as during the sharp start off the car body can be displaced and you can hit your back by the engine. I didn't think that buggy would be so quick with such engine, but my calculations didn't let me down, just in case I put on a helmet. But even after this I didn't switch higher than the third gear as there were no seat belts which I got recently by the way. You can see a photo of them in my Instagram. I tried to pull out with a long slipping. I felt that engine smothers the speed governor, I've noticed it at the first check. The engine didn't turn more than 2,500 turns, but however buggy still goes normally. The suspension in its turn turned out to be solid and dense, not rigid and not soft. I also checked the aversion of the wheels by making a few rounds. The top unary levers sustained a two-hour trip. I think they'll sustain the further pressure too, and if not I'll remake them in two pipes. Probably it's time to sum it up. The most important thing is that all knots and units sustained the first trip. It lasted about two hours. 17 horses of the engine are more than enough for this weight of buggy. Of course it's always possible to put more powerful one, but yet I absolutely don't see any sense in it. The configuration of the engine and the gearbox perfectly proved themselves during the test. The clutch works well without a slip and it's not so rigid as it could seem at the beginning. Generally now I can tell with a light heart that this project can be repeated and it has a right to live. If you like it, put your thumbs up, comment and share this video. And I in my turn will continue to make further interesting videos for you.